guys so tonight we are going to be going to Ross Opera House to do an overnight investigation we've actually been there before I'll link that investigation down below and tonight I am going to be joined by my boyfriend Matt um, my mother and my sister so I'm really excited we got quite a bit of evidence the last time we were there we got a full body apparition of the woman in white so I'll insert that here And yeah, we caught quite a bit of evidence, so I highly recommend checking out that video. Matt and I are finishing, getting ready now, and we're going to go pick up my mom and sister, and we're going to head out, and I'm looking forward to the investigation. My interesting factoid that I wanted to tell you. Okay, so we're going to the theater, and you might know this already, but it's bad luck to say Macbeth in a theater. You're going to scream it, aren't you? <laughs> So are you guys ready to hunt ghosts? Of course. You ready, Matt? Yes. Are you so ready? Courtney, how ready are you? I'm already hearing voices! <laughs> A somber house! found our entry from the last time we were here, so that's cool. Ross Opera House. <laughs> Courtney, these are the steps that you um, went up last time. Remember, Mom and I were on the stage and then you said you went up the steps and you got to the balcony and you yelled down to us that it sounded like someone was running up the steps after you. Yeah, I'm not going by myself again. I'll, uh, I'm going to send you by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a few intro shots. Come lock the door. You can't leave me alone with the ghost. <laughs> going into the theater. We have full access of the building overnight um, just for our group. So it's private. Here's the theater. Mom's already up on the stage. Trying to catch that evidence. <laughs> Lost Courtney. <laughs> this theater is gorgeous, though. So last time we were here, we got what looked like a full body apparition right there in that spot. We talked to one of the um, employees here who told us that a lot of people get something right there in, in a photo and he thinks it might just be the cantina. So that evidence is potentially debunkable, but we're gonna try to recreate it and also see what other evidence we could potentially catch, but we're gonna try to recreate it and see. It might be something we can debunk after all, but we'll see. So up on the stage, this is freaking awesome segregated area. Yeah, that's the segregated area from back in the day. They showed us a really cool apparition when we got here that somebody got up there, the woman in white. So we're going to try to hopefully get her on camera tonight. It'd be so awesome. And um, they had a play tonight, so they still have some stuff up here on the stage from the play. Okay, so this is some of our equipment for tonight. Matt? Oh, it's behind, it's backstage. Matt, where'd you go? <laughs> you having fun backstage? Yeah. You doing the pre-exploring? Yeah. Getting us set up for <laughs> in a little bit. <laughs> I already, I already felt it wasn't even when I opened that door and went back there to look for Matt. It was the second time around. I was just rounding the table to set the camera up and immediately passed the door. I felt it. So Spooky dookie. Okay. You gonna go take a spooky dookie? No, but you're blinding me now that I'm so <laughs> close to you. <laughs> you should walk all up on somebody. Go and get your jaw rocked. <laughs> so through here, I'm just trying to remember from the last time we were here. When they gave us the tour, when you come in here, if you go up these steps, yeah. so we were out there in the yeah. like auditorium. The these steps, Courtney went up by herself and she heard someone coming up behind her. Last time we were here. You go up these steps. This is the hallway where something, someone played with my hair. Um, and they told us last time that somebody here in this hallway likes to play with hair. <laughs> so, real quick, 
Here is the projector room. Where they see, look, you can see down there. And they do the projection. We caught a spirit box response in here one of the last times saying a name and a few other things. Through here. Up these steps is where the person would have fell through. And here is like an extra room. Yeah. Smart, someone just turned the light on. <laughs> Yeah, this is ominous. Yeah, that's what I was like, what is this room? This what? Is interesting. Oh, Courtney likes the couch. <laughs> it's this is a weird room. It feels a lot colder in here. And it's... Cool. Um, this is the original... Yeah, they said this is the original oh. theater. They've said before, I think it was last time we came on tour, they said this room was used for the original theater before it was, like, changed, altered, upgraded, I guess, like, to the big, massive thing that it is now. Yeah. Coming in clutch with the flashlight. <laughs> yeah. That's why I grabbed the flashlight, so I don't have to find it in my phone. And then the upstairs area. And to make sure I know where I'm walking. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you said you felt sick in the projector room? It, very heavy, hard to breathe, yes. Okay, and so this is the balcony area, which we can see down to the stage. And there's seats up here. And then this area back here was the segregated section. Back in the day, they would make um, like people of color sit separated over here to watch the play, everywhere, everyone else, you know. But yes, my plan, what I, what I want to do, go down back to the stage, do EVP spirit box session, turn lights down, do it again, yeah. use touch lights, come up here, do the same thing, leave the touch lights on the stage, and while we're up here, see if we can see the touch lights react okay. while we're up here. Okay. Lights out. Woo -woo. Lights out going back to the stage. Got all the theater seats. Is anybody here with us? What was that? If you are here, what I'm holding in my hand you can use to talk to me. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me where we're at? My name is Devin. Can I know your name? Who is the woman in white? I have these cat balls and they go off to touch. So we'll set them here on the stage, and then they should stop here in a second, but if they are touched, they will turn on. Pick anybody up. I also wouldn't mind turning this way, not picking up anybody. Yeah, I was going to say, we might need to turn on some of the lights. Oh, somebody's doing the nay nay. <laughs> little spider man Hello. With a stroke. Hi, would you like to talk? Move your right 
hand up in the air if you don't mind so I know that that's you, that you're here. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Do you like theater? If you like theater, what is your favorite play? What was that? sort of vocal. It, what, did it go like ding, 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 like that? And kind of like from that way. I, I swear in everything I heard that. And sometimes when I'm doing the spirit box, I think I hear things, but I think it's just the way the white noise yeah, me tricks me. But just then it was like, that was so clear. I like immediately just turned it off and I was like, I hear music. Okay, everyone's still. Is there anyone here with us? Yeah, We're in the segregated. Matt was like, because I played that back a minute ago, and Matt was like, yeah, that wasn't me. Mm -hmm. That was a man's grunt. Okay, so there's this experiment with the spirit box. If you put headphones in, none of us can hear the static that it's making, right? But like Matt, for example, right now, he can hear it. So it's a good way of getting intelligent answers and knowing whether or not they're intelligent. So I can stand over here and while he's got that in his ears, I can be like, what's your name? So he's listening and giving the answers while I ask the questions, but he can't hear my questions because he has headphones in. Mm -hmm. And if he can hear me, he'll speak. Okay, so you said it was saying stuff on there. What was it saying? It sounded like it. What did it just say? It said shh. <laughs> <laughs> <Nuh> -uh. <laughs> yes, it, did. it came through with a deep voice, said something, and then it was shh. Oh, like it doesn't want you to tell us? Maybe it don't want a man here. Or maybe it doesn't want him telling us what it's saying. Oh, <laughs> you thought you heard this is ridiculous? It's, this is ridiculous. <laughs> what's ridiculous? If that was you, so we know it was you. Can you tell us what's ridiculous? Do you want us to stop? Are you tired of having people try to communicate with you? What, what that was it? clear like four words, but I didn't understand what it This said. is why I don't like the headphones that much though, because it's good for experimentation. It's not good for playing it back.